Hello, my lovely Scorpio. Welcome back to Fifi and Gigi's Tarot Readings. I hope you all have been feeling just marvelous. I really hope that the week has been kind, gentle, patient with you. I hope it's been fun and, of course, productive for all of you. Scorpio, let's get straight into it, shall we? Let's dive straight in. I don't like to lose time. Let me clear the deck. Cross watchers, you are definitely welcomed here as well. So, Scorpio, for this week, I want to focus on the next coming weeks. And it's someone very specific that you have in mind. So I've put forth the intention here. And who this person is, of course, it could be someone of a romantic interest. It could be a colleague, a friend, a family member. This indeed could be someone from your past, your recent past, or someone that you're dealing with now. And I really want to focus on the energies such as what do they really want from you? And I'm really focusing on that really, you know, I want to get down to the nitty and gritty. I want to get to the grain here, right to the seed underground, <laughs> underneath the ground. What do they really want from you? What are they not telling you? And everything else that you should know, all the insight that you deserve. Let's do this, Scorpio. Here we go. And for those that are new to Fifi and Gigi's tarot readings, a very, very warm welcome. Thank you all for your time. It is always appreciated. I always want to honor your time. I um, do encourage you to also subscribe. That way you never miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday. Religiously, we do it religiously every Wednesday. We don't, we love picking up on your energy, Scorpio. And also by the time you finish watching this reading, um, I know that definitely your other reading with Gigi, where she focuses on your career, your finances or studies, love as well, and anything else in between will already be uploaded in your dedicated playlist. So all the videos, Scorpio, that Gigi and I do for you, of course, always 100% free, um, will always be in your dedicated playlist from newest to oldest. So in other words, you get the best of both worlds. I focus more on, you know, romance, for example, and Gigi focuses on Money, career, studies, finances, and anything else generally in your life. All right, here we go. Okay, you know what? I'm just going to do that two more times. I just want to make sure I get a really good shuffle here for you, Scorpio. So feel free to fast forward. <laughs> and yes, I, I only stop shuffling when my spirit team tell me to. Hopefully it's not that long. Here we go. Four more. Three more. Two more. And the last one, please. All right, Scorpio, let's see. Let's see what's happening behind the scenes. Let's have a peek through the veil. So it's weird. Uh, how could I say this? Um, my spirit team is showing me the high priestess. I thought, it was, I thought it was a high priest, which is the hierophant, but they're showing me the high priestess. There's something here to do with secrets, mysteries, something that you don't know yet, Scorpio, that's about to happen with this person. You don't know it yet, but now we know. Let's see what it is. But all right, so let's see how that is presented. Oh, wow, we have the full. Let's start off with the first major arcana, unnumbered, ruled by Aries. This person could be a couple of hours drive from you. They could be interstate. They could be overseas. But after nearly 26 years of doing tarot, I realized now that if someone really wants you, if they really want something, distance is not an issue. The Fool is all about reclaiming the innocence and purity of this connection with you. It also spells about brand new beginnings. I see that someone, this person is just going to bite the bullet and they're going to go for it. You see, the Fool is naturally curious. So I do believe that there is a part of you that is saying, I'm not promising you anything, but I'm curious as to why you are contacting me. Um, I feel like this person wants to start fresh with you. And they, yeah, it's almost like there are people around your person saying, go for it and reach out to Scorpio. Justice. Interesting. Libra energy. The scales are completely balanced. And that I like to see because this is actually good for you to know, Scorpio. Knowledge is power. They're not always balanced, right? Um, and this is the thing. This is There could be some hot topics here or something that's happened in your person's life. Some legalities, signing of papers, court proceedings, buying, selling homes, businesses, uh, separation, divorce. What I like about the Justice on its own, it's such a positive card. A lot of people don't know that. It's a really happy, positive card. It actually means yes. So if you ever wondered, is this person going to reach out? Are they going to extend that olive branch? It's yes. And there definitely could be an apology that you are definitely due, but it's backed by facts. Not by excuses or not by, but you made me do it. No, it's backed by facts. So this person is actually owning up. Um, and they're kind of bossing up, you could say, but they're owning up to any injustice that they gave you here. This is also making up for lost time. 
lost love and earning something back from you, which could be trust and love. You could be dealing with the Virgo. I mean, this person can be any star sign. Um, and I can see here that you are really in your lane and you are smashing your goals. The Nine of Pentacles here. A lot of you could be self-employed or you have a side business. You know, people call it side hustle now. I always do quotation marks. Um, yeah, I see that you're really focused here on your future, your stability, your foundation, your studies, your career, your finances. This is like the minor arcana of the Empress. So every time I see this, I just know Scorpio because you're highly intuitive. You are on the right path. And if anything, I'm, I don't want to say this too early, but I feel this person's coming back because they don't want you and they don't want themselves to be single anymore. So if this is a romantic love interest, wow. If this is someone here that you had a strong connection that was family, friends, or anything to do with work, well, they obviously want to balance everything. Peace. You know, it doesn't matter that really the type of relationship, they want to create peace here with you. No wonder. I said they want to create peace because I feel like the last time you spoke to this person, it was challenging. Wow. Well, the five of wands, Leo energy, everyone's arguing. Nobody's happy. You know, there's a clash of egos, we're butting of heads, there's conflict, there's arguments, there's finger pointing. More often than not as well, um, you know, if this is work related, um, so I'm very interested to see what Gigi is going to be saying about your career reading later today. Um, so do check that out. You know, this is like very, a lot of competition, right? Dog eat dog world. I hate that. You know, I absolutely hate when someone's in a cutthroat industry. That's toxic. If this is a romantic relationship, there's a, there was a lot of people here. We had friends, family, exes, the dog, the cat. Everyone was getting involved. Everyone had an opinion. Um, so, And that's the thing. Your person absolutely does not want to argue, but they want to make peace here as well. And here they come slowly. But once they arrive, you literally got the chariot. That's cancer energy. And it's a big deal because this is the fastest moving energy in the deck. Look at the sheer look of determination, that willpower. That positive tunnel vision to saying, I'm going to come and I'm going to make things right with Scorpio because I know that I did them wrong. But I feel here, we've got very strong Virgo again. Could be Taurus or a Capricorn. This is my favorite night, the Knight of Pentacles. Again, look how they're looking at you straight ahead. It's like, I'm coming. Here I am. But um, I think you're going to take this slow. They would like to take this fast. I feel here that they have a message that they want to express to you quite fast. Just in case if you stop them and say, I don't want to talk to you anymore. I've heard enough. Um, but yeah, they want to move fast, but I think here yeah, taking it slow is the best way. Let's talk about the current energies. Yeah, they're going to take action. The King of Wands, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius energy. Why is it every time, you know, we're talking about the other person, they're looking always straight at you because their intentions are pretty clear. And now we know what do they really want from you? Well, they want to be back in your life, but this time they want to start on the right foot with you and right all the wrongs that they have done, especially with the Justice and the Five of Wands. Now, usually the King of Wands, for me, reminds me a lot of um, the Fool and the Emperor. They boss up. They really, I should put this over here. They take action. So your person will be taking quite passionate action towards you. So let's talk more action. Let's talk about you. Yep, Eight of Pentacles. You're a busy bee. More Virgo energy. You might have Virgo in your chart here. Very strong. But you are very productive here. You've got your head down in the books and you are working, but you have a skill set here. You get paid very well. If you feel that you're not getting paid well or rewarded, that is about to change. And it's going to happen quite soon here as well. But it's almost like, you know, it is my work card. So for you to actually fully trust this person or even maybe not even ready to accept their apology. And that's okay. We don't have to be ready for everything. You know that it's going to take time and it's going to take work. And I feel a lot of you are curious to see where this goes. How, what type of work is this going to be involved here as well? Let's talk about your person. Is the hanged man. Pisces energy. See, they have been delaying themselves. They've been procrastinating. And I usually when I, I see this after so many years, I said of doing tarot, is that the longer someone takes to reach out to you or to make peace, it's because they have a super duper guilty conscience because they know that they were the ones that did you wrong. But now that I'm seeing the hangman, it's not so bad. Your person has had the time and the space quietly without a rush to see you, to see themselves, to see this connection from different angles, different perspectives. Now they see things in a different light. And I like this now. They have changed. We want people to, we want even ourselves to change for the better. What's happening behind the scenes is that your person is unsure and they don't know how to approach you, Libra energy. You see, the hanged man always means, oh, I'm a little bit unsure as well. 
I don't know what I have to sacrifice. Maybe I'm, I'm afraid I have to pretend that I'm brave. And here, they're, you know, they're, they've reached a fork in the road. Perhaps even in the next two weeks, they're going to have to drop those swords, remove the blindfold and take action. But I almost feel it's like they don't know which way to approach you. Phone call email, knock on the door, surprise them at work. Is that creepy, for example? What about at home? That's even more creepy. For, you know, it's like, they're kind of like their internal dialogue here. So it's almost like they're not indecisive about you. They're indecisive about how to approach you and what to say, because swords are all about communication. The beating heart of your reading is beautiful. It's the world. This will directly impact you, Scorpio, in a beautiful way. We have four fixed signs here. Taurus, Leo, Aquarius, and we have you, Scorpio energy. So regardless if this person is near or far, they're going to make this work. Both of you have come full circle. You have really grown into yourself. Don't care the age, that's not important. You've really grown into yourself. You've come full circle and so has your person here as well. This card always says, congratulations, pat yourself on the back. Scorpio, you have both made it on the other side. You've gone through all the phases of the major arcana, and this is the last one. Now, as you can see, when that rolls over, we get the full, the first card of the major arcana. So they want a new cycle with you. When one door closes, they're gonna be pretty uh, vocal that they want another, another cycle. They want another try. They wanna try again. Let's see, what else needs to be discussed? Oh, five, six, seven of swords. Mm, yeah. There's a lot here that they're keeping to themselves, Aquarius energy. And this is also what they want from you. Um, I feel like they're keeping a lot to themselves. There could have been in the past, some of these issues could have been a bit of lying, cheating, stealing, copycats even, some gossip, people were jealous of you, but most likely the people around your person, which is these. I don't like to say the word losers, but spirit keeps telling me, just so you understand what I'm saying, is that there are losers around your person's life and these are the people. I know that sounds very cruel, um, but I feel like they were very intimidated and quite jealous of you because you work hard, you make good money. Most of you are your own boss. You're dreaming big. You want to take on the world. And it's like, well, who's Scorpio to do that? Who are you not, Scorpio? Wow. Um, but again, I feel everything that they've been hiding and everything they've been repressing of their feelings, that's, I mean, they keep lying to themselves and it's, the situation's just going to get difficult, more difficult to approach you though. Okay, in fears, hopes and wishes, we've got the three of pentacles, Capricorn, energy, they want to see you face to face. That's what they want to do. They're not sure if that's the right avenue, though. I feel like they just don't know how to approach you. And they're kind of like really tormented between their head and their heart on what is the right way. I see a lot of you are definitely connected with this person, either somewhere professional, it even could be a hobby or a hobby turned into a career, studies, finances, employment, um, for example, work colleagues, was this person your boss? Were you their boss? It doesn't matter though, but either way, they want to see you face to face and they want to be Team Scorpio. In the near future, they will be presenting you with the Ace of Pentacles, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. Wow. Okay. All Aces are breakthroughs, right? They're all about brand new beginnings, starting on a clean slate. But this one is the most solid Ace because it's a Pentacle that's really yeah <laughs> it's solid okay we can't go through this it's nothing wavery or wishy-washy or unreliable um what do they want from you what are they not telling you because they're definitely not telling you a lot such as i want commitment if not marriage with you i want it all with you i want to start all over again and here they come as the outcome wow the fastest moving night ruled by jim and i could also be a Libra um, or an Aquarius, but holy moly, I, I just got to say it. This is the fastest moving night. And now this night is looking to the past. Sword is up versus the swords here pointing down. Open, honest communication. We know that swords are about changes, offers, messages. Um, definitely a lot of communication here. I think they're going to be quite vocal about what they want with you. They want to be with you back in your life. They don't want to go anywhere and they want to right all the wrongs that they have done, all that injustice here that you suffered at their hands and also at the hands of the people around them, which spirit keeps saying, yeah, the, the losers. Okay, I split the deck is the Ace of Cups, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, which does represent one month, could be the next full moon. They would like to start over. This person, they do. They care deeply about you. This person loves you. They care about your feelings. Let's see. I'm really getting for a lot of you, this was definitely a romantic connection. Or for some of you, this was someone at work. Could have been a business partnership here as well. 
and the more you succeed it's you know I, I hate that saying where it's like yeah you know I want you to do better but as long as you don't do better than me I don't like that saying but the thing is it's true and it's worse when it comes from our closest friends and family oh, I lied a message where's this one going please I feel like it's for the seven of swords but they're saying to put it for both of these cards okay thank you for the seven of swords and the knight of swords four more no actually let's do it again and now the last one please thank you all right here we go before i see the bottom of the deck let's see this highlighted message these cards are very slippery yep the knight of pentacles again yeah take it slow I feel like, you know, the cards, your spirit team, Scorpio, and your person's spirit team are really urging you to take this slow. They're really going to have to fight to earn your trust back. If you to even, if you, even if there's a little bit of, you know, respect that's gone, they're going to have to fight for it. Take it slow. These are, these are very solid changes. They're promising and they are of value here. Bottom of the deck, please. Let's put that over there. Eight of cups. Pisces energy. Wow. Who walked away from who? You know what? I think your person did and they regret it because let's be honest, this person does not look happy. They're on their own. It looks like they're taking care of a child. I don't know if that child is sick there, but your person's not happy. They ended up being alone. Thanks to who? The five of wands again. There they are. So my question to you is Scorpio, who is that five of wands? It could be one person that causes, sometimes it only takes one person to cause chaos and drama. Um, it could be a group of people. Who are they? Do you know who they are? Because they forced your person to kind of act out and relieve, kind of leave you behind. And it was instant regret. Why did I listen to these people? I think your person must do a very secretive, strong self-inventory of the people around them. The Knight of Swords, sorry, Knight of Wands, the second fastest moving Knight, Sagittarius, Leo, Aries. Here they come with gusto and passion, but they also with that Four of Swords, Libra energy, um, they want to bury the past where it is. They're gathering their thoughts here and they will be taking action. The Knight of Wands is often known as Mr. and Mrs. Right. The Knight in shining armor. I want to come and save the day. But the Knight of Wands can also be quite impulsive. So thanks to your, this, your person listening to other people who were just, as Spirit keeps saying, losers. Um, and they believe there are no losers in life. But they're saying that just so we kind of understand here on Earth what I'm trying to say. Um, thanks to listening to these losers, um, that's what happened. Your person just impulsively, without thinking, took upon their advice and we both went your separate ways. But here they are to take action with that King of Wands and Page of Pentacles, Capricorn Energy. Could be a Virgo or Taurus. Some of you may have met this person studying, could be a teacher. Um, of course, if we're adults, <laughs> um, nothing underage, of course. You know, adults, you know, um, community college, stuff like that. But, you know, what I like is that because it's a student card, I'm seeing here that both of you have learned big lessons here. And so is your person, which is why there is that quiet desperation here. It's like, I can't get to Scorpio fast enough. Page of Pentacles is a small offer at the start, such as, can we meet up over a coffee? I want to talk to you. I want to talk about what happened in the past. Let's talk about you as the Eight of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I think this person abandoned you. We needed them the most. That's Taurus energy. I'm really sorry about that. That was a huge injustice. That's why there is that quite desperation that they want to right all the wrongs. And they really, it's like, where do I even begin? This person may even fail to even talk at the start. I feel them stumbling, stumbling over their words. I don't even know how to start. I feel like they, they abandoned you. For some of you, money couldn't have been lost or stolen or you invested in them financially and then they disappeared. That is tough, Scorpio. That is very, that's a huge injustice. I feel like you almost even reached out you were tempted to, but either way, even if you did, they just never responded to you. Mm. I think this has forced your person to really grow up. Get that stronger character. The hanged man for your person, yeah, is a three of swords. Libra energy. So they that's why they that's what now it makes sense. That's why they're taking forever, because look what they did. There was a third party interference. They know that they broke your heart, hence why we have the sword there going right through the uh, cup well for me that's like the ace of cups everything got frozen so whether this was infidelity or if it was an ex family friends or co-worker or even something physical like money anything that was interfering here your person allowed it and now that's why they want to fix things yeah they broke your heart and in the in the process they broke their own heart 
now they don't know how to approach you but they will this is a good two because the we know that twos are about choices and decisions and i'm really sorry if this looks a bit grainy the video um i'm in another room tomorrow i'll be back in my office it's um I think because I'm losing light, so it looks a bit grainy. So I do apologize for that. We've got Aries energy. Now this is like, uh, should I stay? Should I go? So from a fork in the road, they're making moves. They've reached now a crossroads. They will be stepping into the unknown. They'll be taking that first step. So they will be reaching out to you first because they realize it is the correct thing to do because Scorpio, you don't owe this person anything, but they owe you a lot. I can see that. Let's talk about the world. Three of Pentacles twice. So I think here, look at all those threes. Three of Swords, three of Pentacles, three of Pentacles. There was definitely intrusion here. And even if it wasn't infidelity, there was a lot happening behind the scenes, behind your back. And I just keep getting that people are intimidated by you. People are jealous by you. You've got talent. You're attractive. You walk into a room. People look at you. When you talk, people listen. And it doesn't matter your age. You could be 20, 50, 80. You've got wisdom. You learn lessons very quickly and that just rubs people, the losers, the wrong way. Either way, they want to meet to you face to face and I see it's going to happen. I just see that you're just more curious though. Let's talk here about that seven of swords. Yeah, the nine of cups. Wow, Pisces energy. Talk about lying to someone that was their wish fulfillment. You were their wish fulfillment. And that's what they did to you. I feel like a lot of people did not want you to be together. They didn't even want you to be happy. And that's why your person realizes I'm the one that has to step up. I'm the one that has to go now and fight for Scorpio and hopefully cross my fingers and toes that they will forgive me. The three of pentacles is clarified by the five of cups. Very interesting. I saw the five of cups in the same position um, with Sagittarius um, as well. So if you are dealing with a Sagittarius or if you have strong Sagittarius in your chart, probably do check that one out because I remember it was exactly in the same position. I couldn't have sworn the three of pentacles was somewhere in the spread as well. And that is you. So five of cups is Scorpio energy. And I can see here that you are severely disappointed. You are beyond disappointed in your person's actions. Like sometimes you think about it and you still can't believe what happened, what they did. I just feel here that a lot of you were blindsided. They ended this, they disappeared, they broke your heart. And it's like, really? After everything that we've been through, after all the support that you gave this person, and I see here that, you know, you, you're looking in another direction for happiness and happiness. You're focusing here on yourself. But um, either way, your person is going to be expressing, well, how sorry they are. I mean, I, I do see that that face to face communication. We've seen it twice. Page of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles twice. That's all face to face meetings. And I think that will be the perfect time to express everything that's been weighing heavy um, in your heart space. The Ace of Pentacles, please, is clarified by the Seven of Swords again. How much are you trusting this person though? That, that's a big issue. Mm. In fact, that Ace of Pentacles really does show that there will be a brand new start, but I feel here that you're still not trusting it. What if it's a false start? Um, and what if these people or that one person here, whoever caused so much damage and such toxic influence on your person that poisoned their mind, well, what if they, what if they find out? This could also actually mean that, um, yeah, you know, we're gonna start again, but we're going to keep this under wraps. We're not going to tell anyone. We're going to be seek, kind of sneaky, especially if it's an office romance or, you know, if there's less than desirable people still hanging around your person. So I think here that both of you will agree, let's keep this under wraps. At the same time, I'm not seeing that you're fully trusting this person yet. That's going to take time. That's why the Knight of Pentacles came out twice. Your spirit team is urging you to take it slow just until you feel confident within yourself because how you feel is the most important thing here. The Knight of Swords is clarified, yep, by the lovers. Gemini energy, number six, is all about healing. So it's telling you to make a decision from your heart. I mean, your person is clearly making a decision from their heart. But we have two souls coming together. It's about choices. And I do feel that, Scorpio, in due time. This is not going to happen overnight. Um, I, I feel that you're eventually going to meet this person and rekindle this connection. Whether it is business, family, friendship, or if this is love, I am picking up for the vast majority of you, this was a beautiful love connection. But I feel here that, yeah, they probably want to take it slow, but you're going to slam the brakes and say, let's take this slow. But I'm seeing both of your hearts uniting together as one. Whatever issues you had in the past will be resolved. Let me split the deck here. Nine of Pentacles. I don't think you're going to be single much more longer. No. 
well, they certainly don't want you to be single and they don't want to be single as well. They don't want to, you know, be alone here without you. Yep, it's going to work out. we got the six of wands, Leo energy. Yep, for me, that's the minor arcana of uh, the chariot because it's victory. But this is not instant victory. This is not overnight victory. They're really going to have to work for it. But success is assured. So I see that the issues can and will be worked out. The only thing I'm going to say is ask about the people around your person. Are they still hanging around? Because that's probably the only red flag. And what I like is that the three of pentacles means that you're both on the same page. We're both agreeing perhaps not to tell people or to separate ourselves um, from these people that again may try to sabotage this. But either way, you are protected, Scorpio. You are always protected by spirit. And I'm seeing that the outcome is looking absolutely beautiful for the both of you. But just be discerning. Not everybody has to know what is going on here, especially whoever that five of wands, the seven of swords are, the three of swords. Could be one person, could be a small group of people. They don't have to know. So um, this is looking good. I like this. Issues will be resolved. Scorpio, this is what I have for you in the next coming weeks. Um, I do thank you for joining me. And don't forget to subscribe if you haven't done so yet. That way you never, ever miss out on a reading that Gigi and I do for you here in Australia every Wednesday religiously love picking up on your energy and actually if you do have time today don't forget to check out her reading she will be focusing on other areas of your life and it will be in your dedicated playlist Scorpio thank you um, I want to honor your time and I will see you very very soon power to you Scorpio bye